Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, I want to give an update from the portfolio manager, Peter Han, on the corrupt practices currently going on in the market and how he wants to ensure that retail orders are forced through lit exchanges instead of through dark pools. Trust me, guys, you do not want to miss this video. Stay tuned and let's make some money. But guys, before I dive into the video, I just want to give a massive shout out to the 1,900 of you that have currently dinged that notification bell because you guys are always the first to watch a new video as soon as it's released. So guys, be sure to drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel and ding that notification bell if you haven't already so that you don't miss another video just like this one. And I want to dive straight in with the key information. So Peter Han said that he's been racking his brain on how to respond to something that happened this morning. Basically, it comes down to whether I'm right about AMC and the issues I've outlined over the last few months, or if I was living in some kind of fantasy land. And AMC is just a very volatile speculative stock with no manipulation going on. And it's some of my fellow 5 million retail owners who get up at 4am and decide they're going to sell the minute the pre-market opens. But then they all buy again at 3.45pm just so they can sell again at 4am. Doesn't really sound like retail activity to me. Seriously, there's so many odd facts that have been uncovered over the last six months. It may be the interpretation of some of these is way off. But the longer this thing drags on, the more the retail Reddit and YouTube crowd will pull away the dirt and uncover the full story. And that, guys, is exactly what I want to do. Just give you updates on the situation and peel back the layers and uncover the full story. Because I've been reporting things as they become known, I do have to do a gut check on what I read and see. And a lot of the time it's trust me bro type data. If it seems plausible, I'll write about it. I treat LinkedIn as a way to post my thoughts about market developments, my personal views. And because I'm typing off the cuff, it may be I write the wrong date, such as when Keith Gill increased his GME position or his GameStop position. My posts are not to be taken as financial analysis. If they were, I'd be charging for them. So right there, Peter Hanna's outlined that the AMC stock is clearly being manipulated. 5 million retail traders wouldn't all wake up all at once at 4am to sell when the pre-market opens and then buy back just before market close, just to then sell again the following morning. I also thought this response from Peter was really interesting. Mark asked Peter a question saying, so the dark pool percentage is 67%. Therefore, we should be in the range of $400 million worth of AMC traded on a daily basis. What mechanisms are in place to force these dark pool shares onto the open exchange? And Peter said, Mark, I know price incentives are one tool and I'm hoping more substantive measures are enacted, like forcing retail trades directly to exchanges, although that might not be popular with market makers. And that's exactly what we need to do. We need to ensure trades that end up going through Citadel Connect or the dark pools actually end up going through lit exchanges and not those dark pools. Both are customer retail buy orders and also their sell orders. Everything should be going through the same lit exchange. That way the hedgies would have no option but to display their activity on the lit exchanges. They wouldn't be able to hide anything or not report anything or report 21 or 35 days after the fact. It would all happen that same day. As a perfect example, here's the newly released data for the first quarter of 2021. It reveals that payment for order flows grew to $1.04 billion in quarter one of 2021. TD Ameritrade accepted $1.1 billion in payment for order flow in 2020 and has already accepted nearly half a billion dollars in quarter one of 2021. Robinhood was second in the ranks with $687 million accepted in 2020 and $330 million accepted in 2021. Quite substantial growth, obviously, because of what happened back in January. Following that, we've then got E-Trade, Charles Schwab, Webull, TradeStation and Ally Invest. The sheer amount of money accepted in payment for order flow is ridiculous. This is the money that Citadel pays to these trading platforms in order to accept their order flow and obviously just pass it through the dark pool or pass it through their Citadel Connect. Clearly there's something corrupt going on because Citadel wouldn't be paying these trading platforms $2.6 billion for the fun of it if it didn't benefit them in some way. It's obviously speculated that Citadel Asset Management, the hedge fund that's also coincidentally owned by Ken Griffin, the same person that owns Citadel Securities, is profiting from this data and profiting from these transactions going through the dark pools instead of lit exchanges. However, when that will happen, I don't know. I'm glad the SEC is finally starting to do something about payments for order flow. I'm also glad that AMC investors have also realized that using Webull and Robinhood is not good for the AMC squeeze and to transfer across to something like Fidelity or Public. 
Fidelity in public obviously don't accept payment for order flow. And I think it only takes a day or two to transfer your shares from Webull or Robinhood over to Fidelity. As always, guys, be sure to let me know down in the comments below what you think about retail orders being forced through lit exchanges instead of going through dark pools or Citadel Connect. Also, if you haven't even yet signed up to a trading platform and you want to buy some AMC, be sure to sign up with Fidelity. If you want to buy any other stocks like Tesla, Amazon or Apple, use the Webull link down in the description below if you're in the US or the free trade link down in the description below if you're from the UK. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out some of my others. Alternatively, subscribe to the channel and ding that notification bell because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers.